Here's an interesting one. So I don't know if my battery charger, this one here, see if I can get this to show up. But anyways, it's, a, it's an IMAX B6. And I have some fakes going around and stuff. So I don't know if mine's an original or a fake. Like, there's the box it came in. I've had it a while now. And I haven't had many issues with it, to be honest. But I was charging it. Um, what was I charging up? Uh, I was charging a Zop up. There we go. So you can see that now. So I was charging a Zop up. It was like 4,500 more. So I charged it 4 amps. And I'd done a balanced charge. But when it comes up the reading... Um, it only read uh, 1,800 and something more and then the buzzer went off saying it was fully charged but I always check my batteries before I put them on um, to see what the percentage is obviously using one of these so I use one of these, check the percentage and I put it on um, so that kind of was alarming in a sense because it didn't hit the maximum charge considering it was only on something like 13% anyways the battery and it should have went up to 4,500 so Here's a ultimate test. So I'll turn this up again a bit. Bear with us, right? So that's a Gen Z, -ish, a Gen Z, -ish, sorry, uh, five thousand more fifty C discharge three S. I'm gonna hook that up, put it on a balance, and I think with it being five thousand more, I'll be safe. I'll put it on four point five amps, and uh, we'll see what that reading comes out at. But I do believe that this battery here. Is that a 36% because it would be storage? I'll just check that now. So, yeah, so I've just put, plugged that in. As you can see there, it's just sat on total of 36%. So, I don't know what this would get up to roughly, but I can imagine 36% will equate that to around about like say 4,000 more. It's got to get into there at least or 3,000. We'll see. But I just want to do this as a test because I wasn't quite sure about mine. So when you balance charge with these, you've obviously got to have both of them connected up. The balance port, whatever this is, and then the, uh, the actual power cable coming out. Both have got to be connected. And then when you go through the settings, you've actually got to pick not charge, but you want the balance. So when you balance, you've got to have both plugged in. If you charge, I, said, I do believe you can just put the one in, but I never just charge. I always balance. So that's that balancing. I'm going to hit enter. It'll ask us to pick what amp. I'll go up to 4.5. It is a 3, 3S. Keep your finger on the button. That'll check for us. It asks you to confirm. Yes, I'm happy. So I'll hit enter. So what you'll notice is there's the amperage going in, what I selected. These are the volts. That should get up to around about 12.8 anyways, or 12.80. Um, that's just your time as to what it's been going and this is how many more has been pumped in it at the minute so I'll get back to you and we'll see what this goes off at but I'm guessing that that should be around about 3,500-ish maybe give and take the 36% that's already in it so just as like a little bit of an update here I'll get this to go back down right so while it's charging you'll notice your more goes up but then your amperage will drop. So this will constantly be dropping as the more goes up. When this gets to 0 0.4 or 0 0.3, it'll start like just buffering into the battery. Um, and then likely it'll go down to 0 0.1 amps and then the alarm will sound. But as you can see, the voltage now from what it started out as is went up to 12.59 volts now. And this is only after half an hour of charging. So, I'm not too sure about this one. We'll see what that end result is, and then we'll put it on the checker afterwards. See what you guys think. Right, so the buzzers went off, and when I looked at the screen, because um, you've got to press stop, obviously, and as soon as you press stop, all the readings go off. But it was just at 2,800, and working out 5,036% off gives you 3,200. So, it's a little bit shy of what it should be for the 500 uh, the 5000 more but we'll check with the checker so there it's came up 99 percent seems everything's absolutely fine with that i'll just check it like the cells first cell 491 second cell not too bad and the third cell now i've heard that if this creeps over the two two four or something like that it's not good for your batteries but that's okay so 
and there's a total 99% something going on with the charger I do believe that that is a fake and just so you know as well so after you have charged your batteries and I showed you the cells before one was higher than the other and this was at 99 so now it's went down to 98 your battery kind of levels off once you've took it off charge so if, if you went back through the video and looked the end one was 4.1 uh, 4.2 and now it's leveled down to the same as the second cell so you'll find that once you've charged your batteries it will drop slightly but that's just because it's leveling up so if any of you are kind of wanting to buy a charger and you are looking into the imax b6 just be aware that there are some fakes going around although i don't know how to determine whether one's a fake or not um, so if you guys do know how, hit us up in the comments because I think everybody should kind of try and find this out. I hope it's answered uh, a few questions for the Mars as to what amps you just want to kind of be charging at. Um, for me, 5,000 more is 5 amps. Uh, 1,100 more would be 1 1.1 amps, but I'd always just do it at 1 amp. Um, I always do mine a little bit short as well, so I only do it at 4.5. Vice versa, if it's 4,500 more, I'll only do it at 4 amps. Um, but anyways, if you found that one interesting, guys, like, comment, share and subscribe. And as always, catch you in the next one.